Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm doing this very colorful look. If that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in creamy beige and I'm going to slather a lot of it on my lid. And then with my finger, I'm just going to gently blend and pat. Today I'm using a lot of palettes. Don't ask me what I was thinking. But the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and with the pack 201 brush, I'm just going to stamp out my crease shape. So I'm just using that turquoise color in the palette and I'm just going to create this crease shape which looks like this cat eye shape. Once I've applied the color to the places that I want it in, I'm just going to take that brush and I'm just going to finesse. You don't have to be very neat with this step. This step is more about color placement. So don't worry if your lines are not straight or smooth, you can fix all of that later. I'm going to take that turquoise shade and I'm going to travel underneath my eye because this is going to make things much easier later on. Next, I'm going to take the Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mini Controversy Palette and I'm using the shade Cancelled. With the same 201 brush, I'm just going to attempt to blend out that turquoise color that I had applied earlier. Okay, so why am I going in with so many palettes, you ask? Well, this look was not supposed to be filmed for YouTube. I don't know, I guess I was just looking at all of the pretty palettes that I have and I decided to play with some color. I came up with this look and then I decided, hey, I should probably film this. So we're here. But now that I'm looking at the footage, I'm sure I could have achieved this look just with the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Anyway, I'm just going into that shade called Flat Earth from the Mini Controversy palette. This is a light blue shade and I'm blending things out. And for this look, I'm making use of all of that real estate that I have on my lid. Taking this brush from the Real Techniques brush set that I have and I'm going to blend right up till my brow. I think somebody commented on my lid space in one of my previous videos. But yeah, uh, guys, when I'm on stage and I'm going to sing and I have all of those bright lights on me, half the time I'll do these really beautiful looks and people will take pictures. And after that, when I get the pictures, I'm like, whoa, where did my makeup go? And you know what? That was my aha moment. That is when I realized why drag queens paint the way they do and why they cover their brows. The more lid space you have, the more the chances of your makeup showing when you're singing for a large crowd. So yeah, this is something that I do a lot when I'm on stage. I do not keep my eye looks nice and tiny. I don't keep that little separation between my eyeshadow and my eyebrow. Sometimes I just paint all out. In fact, not sometimes, I'm always doing that. You will never see any space between my brow and my eyeshadow. Oh, by the way, do any of you guys watch Drag Race? I have this one friend who I convinced to watch RuPaul's Drag Race because I was so desperate to talk about drag. Guys, I love Drag Race. So yeah, comment down below. Do you guys watch RuPaul's Drag Race? If you do, who are your favorite queens? Anyway, I'm digressing. Back to the video and this look. I'm taking my Jawbreaker palette and I'm using the dark blue shade called Delicious. I'm using that to build a lot of depth in my crease. When you do a cut crease or a half cut crease, you want to have a lot of depth, especially where your crease ends so that the contrast from the cut crease really pops out, which is why I'm going in with this dark color to give me that beautiful depth. I've been very tight with the color placement. I'm just going to take that color, tap, swipe and blend. Tap, swipe and blend. 
and now with the same real techniques blending brush i'm just going to blend all of that out in real time this takes a bit of time but just keep at it and the look will come together at the end i'll go back in with the turquoise shade because like i always say in my videos add color blend you lose pigment and then you go back in and re-intensify by adding more color and then you blend that out again that is the only way that you're going to get these beautiful looks that are beautifully blended you are going to apply the colors and blend them out and apply the colors and blend them out and do that at least three or four times till the pigment is built up really nicely and you have a nice beautiful blend next i'm going to take my conceal and define in c10 by makeup revolution and i'm going to take one of these camlin detail paint brushes and then slowly i'm going to start creating the cut crease shape as you can see this takes a bit of time I'm going to finesse and focus on having a rounded shape. I'm going to focus on sharpening the lines and after I'm done, I'm just going to take some concealer with a flat brush and just pat that out. Next, I'm going back in with my pack 201. and i'm going to take the dark blue shade from the jawbreaker palette called delicious and i'm just going to blend out the edges next i'll go back in with the real techniques blending brush and i'm just going to blend out the edges to make sure everything is looking nice and seamless Next, I'm just going to take an unnamed detail brush from a brush set that I got from Amazon, and I'm going to go into my Blood Sugar palette by Jeffrey Star Cosmetics, and I'm taking the shade called Root Canal. This is a purple shade. The reason I'm using so many different palettes is because Jeffrey Star refuses to put all primary colors into one palette. He prefers to space them out and make various different palettes so that we feel like we need them all. But yeah, I'm going in with Root Canal. It's the purple shade. After which I'm dipping into Cavity, which is the pink shade. Next, I'm dipping into my Conspiracy palette and I'm taking the red shade called Flaming Hot. I'm using the same brush here. If I had another 201 then I would have just used that brush. It would have been much easier for me. Next, I'm taking the orange shade called Cheese Dust and I'm putting it next to the red. I'm going back in with the red shade called Flaming Hot and I'm re-intensifying. Guys, I made a mistake here. I think I only re-intensified 3 times, but I should have done it 4 times. That way I could have gotten the color intensity to match the other eye, but what's done is done. Under the bright lights, it's very difficult for me to see what's going on. I thought both the eyes looked pretty even with regard to color intensity. but now looking at the footage i realize that i should have gone in once more to reintensify next to the orange i'm going to place the color called wow which is the yellow color from the jawbreaker palette after that i'll dip into my conspiracy palette again and i'm going to take the shade called food videos this is the chartreuse color or the fluorescent yellow color as we call it in india Then I'm just going to go into the BH Cosmetics palette.
and I'm gonna go into the light green shade. I'll follow that up by going in to the darker green shade from the same palette. Then after that, I'll go in with the turquoise blue color shade in the palette. And lastly, I'll go into the light blue shade in the palette. After I'm done using all of these colors on the cut crease area, I'm just going to go back in and re-intensify every shade. This is also where I'm going to focus on blending. But guys, I made a mistake here. I should have gone in with the colors once more to re-intensify because blending between the colors made me lose some pigmentation. Lastly, I'm gonna take a small detail brush by Crown. I got this on Amazon. I'm gonna go into the dark blue color from the Jawbreaker palette called Delicious. And I'm going to put some of that color on my lower lash line and focus on connecting that to my outer V. Next, I'm going to take the turquoise color from the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm going to put some of that shade on my lower lash line under the dark blue shade called Delicious. Alright guys, this was the final look. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.